Meet Brian Bradley, a comedian from Orlando, USA. And here's his robotic avatar looking and sounding a lot like him. I'm not creepy, I'm very nice. Robot Brian is known as an animatronics avatar. You could be, for instance, a doctor who's visiting a patient one room to another room, even though you are a thousand kilometers away. You could be the child who uh, visits uh, her aging parent, even though you're at a different country. Another project is a 3D version of a teleconference, except that everyone appears to be in the same room. Their images are beamed onto a transparent display screen. In this film, The Time Machine is an illustration of that future, but one that's achieved by science, not special effects. Scientists say, though, it cannot fully replicate human interaction. In fact, it's an illusion you are here, and I cannot uh, do anything except uh, talking or making gestures because each one in the reality is isolated. I never think it will change the real-life situations. It will just favor, help us to live situations when we cannot be together. Now, all this sounds like a science fiction movie, but in fact, a lot of the technology is already being used in everyday applications. The artificial intelligence of avatars, for instance, is based on data crunching, which is very much like what Google does. So, for instance, you type in a few keywords and Google can infer from past searches to present possible answers. The possibilities could be endless and they could be affordable too. It takes the, these little tiny uh, projectors, which are a few hundred dollars now and are rapidly going down. It takes these cameras, which are in, you know, every other... Uh, pocket phone has a camera, so there's no part of the technology that's very expensive. Scientists hope to take these ideas to the market in a few years.